All right, so here I am again. Going to be installing a replacement ECM. And it's gonna work out just fine. So, take the screws out. Right there, and right there, those two, and those two, and then unwire it, and it slides right out. And I'm gonna make note how these wires are connected to this one, so I know which one is which going forward. So, blower motors are easy. Once you got it out, loosen the set screw. If your shaft here is not perfectly clean, and if it has any rust on it, never forget this step. You must sand it, or you will spend a lot of time unnecessarily on this. Loosen the set screw counterclockwise. Press the wrench and tighten it around the flat edge of the of the uh, shafter and spin it loose. Now with this you want to turn it, wiggle it, jiggle it back and forth some so that the shaft and motor drops and hopefully it slides out as you turn the shaft as you twist it and the weight of the motor pulls it down. Push the wheel down before pulling it off like that the blade or the wheel has dropped down the shaft so I can finish sanding that little bit right there. Then, once you're ready, like this, turn the whole blower assembly over. It's in these four bracket bolts. With everything loose, you should be able to turn this thing and get it to, uh, come apart from the shaft. Another easy thing to do is to be to turn this around again and let the weight of the motor slip it out of the blade. All right, after you wrestle with that thing for however long it takes you to do that, you loosen up your belly band bolt. One of them should be a, a half. No? Okay, that's okay. Seven sixteenths. Then you loosen it just enough so that these little arms pop out. And then it's off. So go mount it on the new one. Same thing, just backwards. And then voila, there it is. Hide it in, put in your four mounting bolts but make sure that your plug is to the front over here very important when you're tightening these down never over tighten and do not strip the threads next center your wheel inside the housing Yeah, kind of like so. Take your set screw and install it. Test spin before you put it in there. And that's it. It's ready to go in. So if you want, you can pause the video and read this. But according to this, it's going to... It is going... When it turns on, it is going to do a test to determine the right uh, rotation. Right here. First powered on, it rotates <clears throat> in both directions to figure out which is the right rotation. So, uh, let's see what happens. All right, we got power on. And I've got the client turning the fan on for me.
it's doing its testing, ro rotational test. Apparently it's smart like that. And then, once it determines proper operating directions, it stores that information, and that's all it takes. Cool. Looks like it, uh, it knows what's going on now. And that's it guys, that is how you do the ECM install, thanks for watching. I'm going to always put the panels back on and leave it nice.